Yes guys, welcome to a Music Workflow Academy tutorial. We're going to be using the Sting 64 by Skinnerbox. We've had a request to record MIDI using Sting. So let's do this from scratch and I'll show you how it's done. So we're going to search for Sting and then we're going to get our 303 bass. And as you can see, Sting generates a very nice acid pattern. We can also click this smiley face and it will make a new MIDI pattern. Let's say we like that one. We're just going to right click, insert a new MIDI track. The shortcut for that is Shift Command T. Then we're going to select Input, which is this button here. And then we're going to route it to the basic 303 bass or whatever this track is called with Sting on. We're going to hit the arm button. So this is red here. And now, step by step, we're just going to hit record. It's going to record those MIDI notes. And as you can see then, we're just going to click Auto, and we've now got those notes from the Sting plugin. So if I was to whack a bass line on that, we've got the same pattern with the same notes. So I'm going to do this one more time with you guys. We're going to get the Sting plugin, drag that onto our MIDI track, then we're going to get a sound. Let's get the M1 organ. Let's say we like that, then we're going to right click, insert a MIDI track. We're going to go input, all instruments, M1 organ, on the track, and then we're going to hit record, and that's going to route the MIDI from Sting to our new MIDI track. And as you can see, that MIDI's getting recorded in. And if I was to press that, it's going to change that MIDI pattern. Now all we need to do is whack a kick drum underneath and we've got a pretty decent track. And then we'll put the M1 MIDI sound onto our MIDI track to sample. Thank you guys so much for watching that tutorial. I hope that helped. If you have any more requests, feel free to drop me a WhatsApp at 077 07583. Peace, and I'll see you in the next one. Love.